card to see you. Hi, Daddy. Can you just call, in, you know, next time you come? Gloria, leave. Your husband and I have business to discuss. Okay, now, she's my wife now, so you're going to have to just respect her a little more than that, okay? Look, I'm not challenging your authority. See, I'm not trying to take over, but all hell is breaking loose out there. And I damn well expect to know what you're planning to do about it. How are you going to play this Russian nonsense to the Zakara's advantage? It's very simple, Anthony. I have a strategy, a very good one. I'm not discussing strategy with Claudia well, in the room. And you're going to have to leave, because, uh, and I'll just go ahead and talk it over with my wife. Fine. Who am I to come between the newlyweds? Okay, Anthony, this is the way it's going to work. While Jason's distracted, I'm going to move through his territory because I know all the peers and everything like that, how to offload shipments, where to, and the whole thing. Okay? You think he's not going to notice? Jason <laughs> doesn't want to have anything to do with me. So, hey, Jason doesn't have the resources to fight me and the Russians at the same time. Jason considers the Zakar as a lesser part of the, of the two evils, so he's going to leave us alone. By the time he figures out what, what's going on, a substantial part of his territory will be mine. <laughs> you mean ours? No, I mean not Jason's. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb you, boss, but you have a call that can't wait. Did... Can you, you excuse me? He's making a call while I'm here. That's a nice touch. He's putting me in my place. Don't blame him. Not at all. In fact, I'm impressed. Sonny knows all of Jason's blind spots. And aside from letting you stay in the room, he seems pretty sure about what he's doing. Not that I expect you to tell me what your real plan is, but it does seem to be working out rather nice for you so far. You have no idea. <laughs> Walking Daddy to the car. That was a nice touch. Sign of respect. Uh, I think it was actually a sign that he can't get there on his own. That too. Thank you for letting me stay in the room. I know you only did it to annoy my father, but I appreciate it. Well, I like annoying Anthony. And I have no problem with you being in the room, you know, if I'm talking strategy, because I think you need to know what's going on. But you don't trust me. You don't trust me either, but what you need to remember is we're on the same side, right? We're gonna, you know, vice versa. You get what I'm saying? This is so easy, it almost feels natural. Is that a problem? It is a problem, because you know as well as I do, when something seems too good to be true, it is. What do you mean, too good to be true? I made you lunch, we enjoyed it, we had a conversation, and I let you stay in a room where I did business. You only married me because you got backed into a corner. Yeah, I made a choice. We both did. There's just no reason to be unpleasant. Well, you seem to really get a kick out of being unpleasant to me in the past. I mean, you went out of your way to treat me like a whore, and now you're treating me like a human, and it's just a little unsettling. What did you think it was going to be like being married to me? Not this. What do you think? I was going to yell at you all the time and treat you miserable yeah. and never stop? And I don't know. I've known men who do all those things. Well, I'm not one of those men. As a matter of fact, you know, I just... I, I'm not proud of the way I treated you. And uh, it's just I, was, I had a lot going on and I was, I was angry and I took it out on you. Well, I wasn't exactly Little Miss Sunshine either. Yeah. <laughs> You know what, we, we, we got into this marriage for reasons only pretty much both of us know. And, you know, look, we're in it. If one thing happens from one second to the next, then we just have to go with it. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Do you? No, it's just, uh, it's a surprise, that's all. And I hate surprises. Yeah, yeah, so do I. But you know what, maybe this one's going to turn out okay. Bad, bad time Sorry. to interrupt. Sorry, boss. I was just dropping off Mr. Carter's 
as Mrs. C's, ma'am. <laughs> um, you asked me to pick it up from your okay, place. Okay, right. Right there. Okay, and then just go. Okay. Come on, why are you so hard on the guy? I asked him to bring me my mail. Yeah, what well, I, I just hate to be interrupted. Well, maybe Milo just did us both a favor. Who is this from? I wonder who sent me that. You know what? Forget about the mail. Just answer the question. Was there a question? Yeah. What what can we do to make this marriage work for both of us? We shared a couple of meals. We had a couple of kisses. Uh, I mean, I think that our marriage of convenience is, is going fine. Can I have my mail now? Not until I convince you that uh, I want this partnership to be real. How do I do that? Well, if real to you mean sex, then, you know, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't really want to go to bed with you one night and wake up the next day and realize you were using me. I know why you kissed me before. It was a manipulation. Oh. Is kissing off limits? Not necessarily. I like kissing you, mm -hmm. but it's not going to get you what you want. Well, see, this is good talking about stuff, you know, making our, you know, our positions clear and all that thing, because I, I, I want to be considerate. I want us to get along on a day-to-day -day basis so we can, we can, you know, grow in our partnership. But I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't automatically grown feelings for you because we've been married a couple of days I mean you know it is a complicated relationship and we didn't start out well that's an understatement but I gotta I gotta tell you we were there's some progress because I, I don't hate you with a passion anymore and I want to break down those walls so I can get to know you but I, that's as far as it goes at the moment that's pretty far okay and I have to say that I'm grateful but, I mean, you know, you're going to have to give me some time to not see this as some kind of trap. Oh, yeah, I, I get that. I, do you? Yeah. I mean, do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Because the main reason that I was so opposed to marrying you in the first place is that I, I hate the idea of being bonded for life to somebody who despises me. I mean, if I wanted to be treated like a joke and a whore, I could have stayed at home with my father. No, no, my, my intention is to treat you as an equal. Well, I like the goal. But you're going to have to be patient with me. Yeah. I can't just, out of the box, believe that you're sincere. I didn't think that you saw this, us, as a long-term situation. Why else would I bother? Um because you could have married me, used as a car of resources to go after the Russians, and then dumped us all. Good thinking. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, you probably did. Yeah. Matter of fact, it might still be your strategy. But I doubt it. I think you're a lot more forward-thinking and forward-looking than I ever gave you any credit for. I mean, for instance, you know the Russians are a temporary problem. They're nothing for you to get upset about. You can leave them to Jason. Let him take care of them. Well, you go after his territory. It's smart. It's very clean. Yeah, I like that. You know, it's amazing that it's like the way you, you think. It's like the way I think. Not too, many, not too many women are like that, you know? Yeah, that's because you always go out with the girls that are lesser. Lesser? What does that mean, lesser? Lesser, you know, less weak, fragile, the way that you love them. So you think you know me well enough to make that call? I think you're not so hard to read after all. So what, what, have we, what have we resolved here? Well, I think we've resolved a lot. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, if you're serious about being the long-term head of the Zakhar organization, then it makes it a lot easier for me to believe that you're sincere about things working out between us. Great.
Where are you going? Uh, business. Boss is home. Oh, but his wife is. Hi, Jason. How are you? Come in. Do you want something to drink? No, thanks. Okay. You want to sit outside on the terrace? It's nope, really pretty. Right here is just fine. I'll wait right here. Oh, okay. So congratulations are in order. Feel free to spit those out at any time. Congratulations. You know the man of few words crack gets old really fast. I did want to thank you though, because if I'd married you that day when we were on our way to see the justice of the peace, I wouldn't have been able to marry Sonny and I gotta tell you, I think it might be the smartest move I ever made. Too bad it didn't turn out so well for you, huh? Well, you've had a couple of bad weeks, haven't you? I mean, first Sonny kills Karpov, and then the Russians come after you, and they torch your house and your business and your shipping yards. They go after your girlfriend's kid. By the way, you should know, the entire time that Jake was being held hostage, Sonny completely suspended all business activity, all. He didn't want to take the risk of aggravating the Russians and Jake getting hurt. I'd expect nothing less. Well, he'd just taken over my family business. I mean, he was newly in power, so his compassion could really be interpreted as weakness. He, he made a big sacrifice for you. It was a big risk. I'm grateful. Of course, now he's going to have to step up and take the reins and lead. You mean against me? I don't know when Sonny's going to be back. It could be hours. Do you want me to have him call you? No, it's better if we talk in person. Well, if you're here to to make peace, I have to tell you that it's a little bit late. Sonny is the acting head of the Zakhar organization, so I seriously doubt he's going to stop something that's already in motion because you've decided to make nice. So, so tell me this, Claudia. Do you speak for Sonny now? No, I'm just giving you my... My input. Yeah, your input. My you, you went from hating Sonny to having the uh, inside track pretty fast. Well, it turns out we're not natural enemies, after all. Let's just say that we are starting to find some common ground. Maybe I was wrong before. Maybe it's, maybe it's good that you're here, making the first move. I mean, if you can find a way to compromise a little bit... It's possible that you and Sonny could find a way to work together, or at least stay out of each other's way, right? What are you doing here? I thought we should talk, but I don't think there's anything to say. Well, that's your call. Claudia told me that you held off going against the Russians while Jake was being held. I appreciate that. I'm glad you got him back. That was weird. That was really weird. He waits all this time and then he comes and he says two words to you and he takes off. Oh, that's just... Yeah. Well, look, you know what? Jason knows that he forced me into this position, so I got no choice. I'm going to have to move into his territory. What are you going to do if he fights you? 